what's happening folks merry christmas to you all happy holidays whatever you're celebrating if you're celebrating welcome <laughs> um this is a very special reaction we're doing tonight this is one of my favorite no scratch that this is my favorite christmas song it's been done many ways many renditions many different types choirs instrumentals and vocalists alike all around. I say this song is the make or break for the big voice vocalists in many ways. And that, But then again, there's many ways you could take this song. Um, but I'm doing my favorite rendition of this song, Oh Holy Night, is from Mariah Carey's 1994 album. Because that one gives me the church. That one gives me the 19... That, that gives me my childhood being in church experience and it fills me with this excitement there's something about her voice of when it starts off in its lower register through the first half of the song and then all of what she does her voice really captures that magic for me with this song so this that I'm doing, this reaction I'm doing, it's for a performance I've never seen before, a special I had never seen before, uh, when she was pregnant. It was a 2010 Christmas special. Um, so excited to check this out because, like I said, I've never seen this special. I've never seen this performance from this special. And, like I said, excited to check it out. So before we get to it, I need you guys to go ahead and subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. And now, without further ado... This is the elusive Chanteuse, Miss Mariah Carey, with Oh Holy Night, live.
perfection, perfection, perfection. The thing is that I love about her version is I feel like there's so much to it. There's so much to all of, and I feel like that's the thing about that. That's my love of Mariah where I feel like vocally, I don't like comparing her to even her peers who are great vocalists and all that. But it, the truth is when it comes to people who are great vocalists, they all have their own thing. They all have their own key that makes their voice their thing. And the thing with Mariah that I think a lot of people get mixed up is the fact that they look at the five octave range. They look at the belting ability. They look at all these other things. But what what moved her in a different direction for even my favorites list is the understanding of it's not even all of the big and loudness and all that. That's one element. But it's all of the little intricacies. Her, and the, the it's this thing of to an average person, the lambs, the lambs gonna feel me on this one. To an average person, to a non Mariah fan, I feel like when you see this, you just you just seeing diva antics and the fun waving of the hand. But when you understand that, it's almost like she's dictating or directing, like the, or conducting what her voice is doing or what her intent for her voice to do and mo these moves Mariah's voice has this fluid ability and I think it really comes from her time as a background singer and her love of background vocals is so, so she finds the harmony she finds these little pockets and I, I'm a person who loves pockets and my voices and then my singers and stuff so and I appreciate with with this is very much like okay where are we gonna put this and so I feel like with that then it's all it's all about like an illustration she's painting for us she's giving us it reminds me of when Anita Baker would move when she would what you watch the Sweet Love video or you watch Anita even perform. She has this way of moving and it's her voice in the in the music taking over her. With Mariah, that hand is the same thing, you know. So, and with this song, I feel that. And in all incarnations, because the '94 version is not the 2001 version, is not the 2010 version, is not the more recent versions. What? Because she does this song a lot. It's very much a staple for her Christmas shows. But um, she does it. She personalizes it, and that's the, that's what I really like about Mariah. You know, and that's what I've really grown to appreciate with her as a vocalist, and where she compares to the other vocalists, and where I don't like to compare other vocalists to her or to like all of my favorites, Whitney, um, Aretha, Patty, Christina, and then vocalists I'm getting to know like Celine, they are all special for their own unique things. And I like them all for it. So yeah, that's, that's me. And that's this song and that's me and Mariah. <laughs> so hope you all enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please go ahead and like subscribe, bring the bell for notifications. If you'd like to follow me on social media, that's in the description below. If you would like to tip me sponsor request, check out my Amazon wish list. That's also in the description below. It would be very much appreciated. You can also, um, join my Patreon. That would be a great Christmas gift. Join my Patreon. On Patreon, you're going to get benefits like early access to videos like these, Patreon-only videos like these, and occasionally extended Patreon videos where I go more in-depth of the song. Maybe I'll, I, a lot of times I also use it to talk directly to my patrons, kind of giving them like little updates of, you know life <laughs> you know before and after and in between reactions so um and then just lastly thank you all so much shout out to the lambs i always say y'all were my first video on this channel my first reaction video i think it is the first video period though was mariah <laughs> and the lambs got my back the lambs got my back and i appreciate you all as well and just I appreciate every single person who pressed play on this video. It means so much to me. It goes such a long way. It took this time on the holiday too, or or even if it might be later in the year, but still, still on the holiday. It's up on the holiday, <laughs> so Christmas Eve. Hope you all have a great one. And beyond everything else, and I mean it with all of my heart. Please take care of yourself and each other. <laughs>